All right, we got a learn wake analysis video. This is a user clip uh, uploaded by CMO Roy. Looks like he's having some heel side back roll woes. Uh, the biggest thing that I see in your video is the starting position, and I'm gonna switch back and forth uh, between your video and, and a quick clip of, of me setting up for a back roll, just so you can see the distinct differences. So let's, um, let's rewind your video and check out the setup. The edge out is fine, but if you notice right there, it's hard to see. It's a little blurry and a little far away, but that's a very, very seated edging position, which isn't necessarily great for setting up for a progressive heel side back roll, especially if you're trying to learn it and build a good foundation. So let's um let's switch to my video real quick and uh, look at the distinct distinct differences. So look look from my shoulders to my knees, how straight my body is, and how far my hips are forward. Um, that way, if you start with this position, I'm going to play through this video, you'll actually see me sit a little bit, which is a natural instinct for any rider to do, but at least since I'm starting taller, I'll never get, you know, far into the seated position, so my position just stays better throughout the trick, so let's play through this, and it stays tall, stays tall, and then we get a little sitting motion right there, but it's not a seated motion, like my butt's not sitting below my knees, um, and it it allows me to keep uh, more leverage and, and load on the line so that way when I take off for the trick my hips are, are a lot more forward I get better pop and then it just makes the rotation a lot easier um, so let's switch back to yours and if you're already starting in this much of a seated position that position is only going to get worse when you get to the wake and what that does is if we play through this um, hard to see but what it does right here is it causes a looping out motion. Um, since your position gets so seated, um, I assume it's seated, you'll flatten the board off and if the board is flat it just kind of flies through the wake instead of getting uh, thrown out behind you more and it's pro this is probably the main reason why you're struggling to land the trick every time um, just because your initial edging position is causing you to go flat at the wake. So um, That's kind of what I, it's hard to see in these two videos uh, because the the people are in the way, but let's look at the one that you landed. Um, sometimes you can get away with it, so let's check it out. And you'll see probably the same position after you edge out. So I'm going to pause it right before you get close to the board rack. So there, you're still a little bit seated. You could be a little bit taller right here. And then as you make the turn, look how, let's rewind it just a touch, see if I can get it. Whoops. right there. See how seated you are ready to start and that position is only going to get more seated as you get closer to the wake. And then right there, there's your issue. So see how flat the board is and then see how far forward your chest is and how seated the position is. It just doesn't, when the board's flat at the wake there's no water pushing the board out behind you. And I mean obviously you land this one but if you're trying to get it consistent it's going to be hard with this position. So um, let's look at mine one more time just so you can see the distinct differences so nice and tall to start it gets a little seated just to load the line but it takes off pretty pretty tall hips forward let me rewind it just a little bit whoops sorry about that look how far forward my hips are right here and I still have water pushing on the bottom of the board and that's what throws the board more out behind me and then I come around so I think if you fix your initial edging position, um, you'll have a lot more success and you'll be able to get it uh, consistent. But nice job on landing your first back roll and thanks for uploading the video.